retail sales and GDP. Now, retail sales and GDP are correlated. So if retail sales for a specific quarter is very good, we can expect a good GDP for that quarter. So, and remember, higher GDP means better economy. So as fundamental traders, we can use the retail sales to help us to get an idea of what to expect for the GDP. Now, retail sales are released each month. Every month we have retail sales data. However, the GDP is released every three months, okay? Every quarter we have the GDP data. So we can use the retail sales for a specific quarter to give us an idea of what to expect for the GDP of that quarter, okay? And the reason retail sales have such a strong correlation with GDP is because for most countries, retail sales make up about 60 to 70% of the GDP, okay? So that is the reason why retail sales have a strong correlation to GDP. If we have very good retail sales for a specific quarter, we can expect a potentially good GDP for that quarter. Now, jobless claims and unemployment rate affect the retail sales. And this is simply because if people are losing jobs, they will not have money to spend at the retail level and hence we will have poor retail sales. Okay, if less people have jobs, then less people will have money to spend. And this will result in poor retail sales data, which will eventually lead to poor GDP. And if we have poor GDP, this will lead to the central bank moving towards decreasing interest rate or even quantitative easing. Okay, so high unemployment will lead to poor retail sales, which will eventually lead to poor GDP, which will eventually lead to the central bank decreasing interest rate. And remember, whenever a central bank decreases interest rates, this will cause the currency of that central bank to decrease in value, okay? Now, housing data and durable goods are correlated. And this is simply because more people buying new houses will result in more people buying new appliances. Okay, if we have better than expected housing sales, this should result in good durable goods data. So this is something you can use as a fundamental trader to trade the durable goods data. You can pay attention to the housing sales and then use the housing data to trade the durable goods data. And I'm going to go to fxstreet.com to take a closer look at the correlation between housing data and durable goods. Okay, so here we can see we have better than expected housing data. Existing home sales are better than expected. Here we have the previous month's data, what analysts are projecting, and the actual data. So this is the previous data. In this column, we have what analysts are projecting, and here we have the actual data. So you can see that the actual data is better than what analysts were projecting, and it's better than the previous month. So this is very good data for existing home sales. And remember, housing data is released before the durable goods data. Hence, we can use the housing data to trade the durable goods data. Now, let's take a look at the durable goods data. Okay, so here we can see for durable goods, it's better than expected. Okay, it's better than expected data. Very good durable goods. And we would have been expecting this based on the housing data. Okay, so this is how we can use fundamental correlation to make money trading Forex.